In this video, you will learn how to safely work within a biosafety cabinet. For the rest of the video, we'll refer to biosafety cabinets with the abbreviation BSC. How do I use a BSC properly? To ensure maximum protection in using a BSC, here are some factors to consider. If the BSC has been turned off, you must turn it on and wait at least 10 to 15 minutes before beginning your work. Place your chair at a comfortable height in the middle of your workspace to ensure you can reach everything you need inside the BSC without discomfort. Set the sash to an indicated mark above the base. You can see how lowering the sash creates more vacuum to pull hazardous particles and microorganisms away from you. Set up your workflow from clean to dirty. So, for example, if you prefer to work left to right, you should set up the cleanest materials to the far left, the biological materials in the middle, and reserve the far right area to place your dirtiest and most potentially contaminated items. Usually, these are the biohazardous wastes you generate while working. Place materials 3 to 5 inches away from the front and back grills. Blocking the grills reduces the airflow and ability of the BSC to draw dirty air away from you. To guarantee uninterrupted airflow, cabinets should never be overcrowded. Limit movement of dirty items over clean ones. By working slowly, from left to right in this example, there is minimal crossing of dirty items with clean ones. Minimize hand movements inside the BSC. Moving your hands slowly and deliberately reduces air turbulence and ensures that harmful materials are properly filtered by the BSC. Block off or minimize heavy pedestrian traffic. Foot traffic within three meters of the BSC can increase air turbulence and disrupt airflow. Never use an open flame in a BSC. In addition to disruption of airflow, an open flame may ignite flammable liquids and materials close by. Alternative methods, such as micro-incinerators or disposable inoculating loops, are recommended. When you have completed your work, any reusable items should be wiped down with disinfectant before removing them from the BSC. Next, the interior surfaces of the BSC should be decontaminated using the appropriate disinfectant for a contact time recommended for the agent used. A second decontamination is advisable. For any questions regarding biosafety cabinets, email USCEHNS at ehs at usc.edu. Thank you for your commitment to safety here at USC.